Hi guys, it's Lisa's Finding the Redo. I'm a 57 year old retired school teacher who needed to find her redo. And I found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, and hard goods. Today we're here for Money, 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 Mondays. Did you get that? Yeah, I never got one out last week. It just, it got to be Thursday. I didn't have anything. I thought, I'm just gonna do them both next week. So I appreciate you sitting here and watching this. And now let's look at the items, the highest, uh, most profitable item and the least most profitable item from the week ending August 7th. So it was August 1st, 1st to August 7th. The highest price uh, profitable item that day was a Polo Ralph Lauren 3XLT orange plaid shirt and it sold for $29.95 and the buyer paid $6 shipping. When you're looking for a uh, Polo Ralph Lauren, look for something different. These were all larger sizes or get them so cheap you can afford to sell them for less, okay? So I love Ralph Lauren, y'all know that. My dad and my brother wore it religiously, so that's just what I consider quality. The least profitable item was a Tundra the White Tiger, a Thai Beanie Boo and it sold for $9.95 and the buyer paid $6 shipping. On Monday the 2nd, uh, my highest priced item was, or the highest most profitable item, was a Garnet Hill dress. It was kind of a lagging look dress and it sold for $20 plus $9.35 shipping. The least profitable item was a blouse. I don't know the brand but it was a beautiful linen, lightweight blouse that I picked up and I thought, oh, I'll be able to tell the, the brand. I never could. The dry cleaner had, you know, dry cleaners are pretty rough on tags and you couldn't see anything. So I just listed it cheaply for a, lot, little, for a little bit of money and described it. And, you know, so words can make a difference. So, it sold for only $8.46 and the buyer paid $4.70 shipping. On Tuesday, August 3rd, this was my best sale in over a year. Over a year, okay? And this was a Burberry London Jose, Josie, J-O-C-E, probably Josie, black rain trench, rain trench belted hooded Novacek coat. It went to London and sold for $330. Now, I had it for free shipping, but because it went international, they had to pay shipping. So it worked out really well. That coat sold for $330, and I got it in a Goodwill designer box. I was so happy. I hadn't I had had it listed less than a month, so huh, I'll take that every time. The least profitable item was a Chico's size two shirt and it sold for $19.95 and the buyer paid $6 shipping. On Wednesday, uh, the most profitable item was a Polo Ralph Lauren Caldwell camp shirt. Remember I told y'all in another video, but I'll tell you if this is your first one for me. Camp shirts are ones that have the uh, straight bottom uh, and they have done really well for me. I've sold every camp shirt I have that I bought that day at Savers. It sold for $32.96. The buyer paid shipping and it went to Japan. The least profitable item that day was a Fast and Furious um, little toy car, okay? Um, the package was damaged. It, you know, when I first did it, it was getting like $12.95, but the package was damaged. You know, honestly, I just wanted rid of it. I'd had it for, oh, at least a year, probably closer to two, because I really don't pick up much retail arbitrage anymore. But it sold for $5.21, and the buyer paid $4.70 shipping. On Thursday, my most profitable item was a Pioneer Wear size 50X men's corduroy jacket with elbow patches, okay? It was a beautiful coat. It was long. It was just beautiful. And it sold for $40 and the buyer paid $9.35 shipping. The least profitable item that day was a Fingerlings Glitter Monkey. It was Raz. 
It sold for $10 and the buyer paid $4.70 shipping. On Friday, I had uh, my most profitable sale was a Polo Ralph Lauren 3XLT khaki camp shirt. <laughs> and it sold for $42.46 and the buyer paid $9.35 shipping. The least profitable item that day was a, an 8 inch St. Louis Rams mascot souvenir and it sold for $11.50 and the buyer paid $4.70 in shipping. And the last item for that week that um, was the most profitable was a pair of Lauren Ralph Lauren shorts. They sold for $18.95 and the buyer paid $6 shipping. And the least profitable item that day was an Old Navy maroon cardigan that sold for $13.95 when the buyer paid $6 shipping. Okay, great sales, great sales. Now, for the week ending, um, I'm sorry, week ending August 14th, so it was the 8th through the 14th, my top selling item was a Nyko PlayStation 3 intercooling snap-on cooling device that was new in package, new sealed, everything. I got it for a dollar at a yard sale, and it sold for $108, and the buyer paid $12.90 shipping great okay the least profitable item that day was an artesia women's extra large white boho embroidered top sold for 13 dollars, and the buyer paid six dollars shipping on monday the most profitable item was an escada marguerite lay blazer real pretty wool and silk blend blazer it sold for $52.46 and the buyer paid $9.35 shipping. The least profitable item that day was a Woods Home Surge Protector. I'd had this forever. I mean, probably close to two years. And it sold for $10.95 free shipping. It went out the door. I'm sure I made no money on it because based on eBay fees for two years. So but that's okay. Okay, the next day, my highest, most profitable item was a Stella and Dot Camilla semi-precious stone necklace that sold for $34.95 and $6 shipping. This came to me in a thread up fun box. So fun boxes are fun, guys, especially when you can make some money on them. The least profitable item that day was a How the West Was Won, really won, Red Cowgirls, short sleeve t-shirt large extra large i always put measurements in my listings so because just because i didn't know if it was a large or extra large even what brand it was it sold for 15.95 plus six dollars shipping the next day the most profitable item was an annalee hope women's long sleeve casual summer dress it was kind of a midi dress and it sold for 18.96 and the buyer paid $9.35 shipping. It's hard to believe, but dresses really are heavy, you know, especially depending on what material, but they can be really heavy, and that's why they're all being sent by priority mail. The least profitable item that day was a Kiara Women's Extra Extra Large uh, top, and it sold for $11.46, and the buyer paid $6 shipping. Okay, the next day, the most profitable item was an L.L. Bean petite medium, uh, petite medium corduroy shirt. Could be like a shacket. And it sold for $20.96 and the buyer paid $9.35 shipping. The least profitable item that day was an Izod pair of shorts. They were size 6 green plaid like golf shorts. And they sold for $12 and the buyer paid $6 shipping. Sorry. On the next day, I sold a most, huh, my most profitable item was a Polo Ralph Lauren 867 men's jeans, and these sold for $29.95, and the buyer paid $9.35 shipping. The least profitable item that day was a Nishiki jersey. This was a cycling jersey, and it sold for $7.50, and the buyer paid $6 shipping. 
The next day, and I'm sorry, I've gotten off. I can't even tell you what days, but these are all in that week. The next day, the most profitable item was a 41 Hawthorne, Hawthorne new dress. It was a Cassidy. The buyer paid $35.95 and paid $9.35 shipping. The least profitable item that day was a Kelly's Kids dress in a size 7. It sold for $13 and the buyer paid $6 shipping. Okay, so what do you think? Pretty good? I think so. Now I'm going to tell you the highest, the most profitable item from Poshmark from each of the weeks and the least profitable profitable. I cannot talk today. I apologize. Okay. The most profitable for the week ending August 7th was a Polo Ralph Lauren yellow um, striped uh, button up, button down, and it sold for $23. The least profitable item that week was a black, sorry, I just got rid of it, a black uh, Ann Taylor, I think, yeah, Ann Taylor Loft blouse that sold for $13. So not a great deal, but that's okay. The In the week ending August 14th, the most profitable item was a Land's Inn dress, and it sold for $20. And then the least profitable item was an Izod short, pair of Izod shorts that sold for, let me, sorry, let me get it, $11. So, not the greatest sale by the time Poshmark takes out their fees and everything, but that's okay. It's gone. Okay, so what do y'all think about my Poshmark sales? Not that great. Now, I'm in a listing challenge, and I'm going to do a video right after this one about how I've done so far in my listing challenge. But, in my listing challenge, I am listing 10 items a day, and I'm cross-posting 10 items to at least one platform. Okay, and I've been doing most of my uh, cross-listing to Poshmark, so hopefully those numbers will pick up. And I'm trying to get ready for um, Q4, and if you're not already starting to pick up sweaters and jeans and things like that, you need to be picking them up because Q4 is almost on us. Okay, so now let's look at my numbers for the week ending um, August 7th. Okay, the I had 35 eBay orders. I'm sorry, this, I'm going to take them off the rest of it. I know you're probably tired of seeing my, now you just got to see the bags under my eyes. But I had 35 eBay orders and four Poshmark orders for a total outgoing orders of 39. My eBay gross sales were $1,261.54. I'm always happy, especially during this time of the year when it's up over a thousand. My Poshmark gross sales were $75 for a total gross sales of $1,336.54. My shipping, which was for um, eBay orders plus anything I sent by pirate ship, was $235.04. My eBay fees were $155.58. My Poshmark fees were $16.85 for a total cost of $407.47. My cost of goods was $83.76. It was higher because of the $20 um, coat from, that was in the thread up um, denim, I'm sorry, the thread up designer box. Plus I had those um, couple of Polo Ralph Lauren nicer shirts that, sold, that were a little more expensive. So $83.76 cost of goods. My total net sales was $845.31. Now that was brought up by the coat, but still it was over $500 without the coat. So my gross average sale price was $34.27 and my net average sale price was $21.67 pretty good week. I'll take that week any time. Okay, now the, uh, the for the week ending August 14th, I had 39 eBay orders, one Etsy order, and five Poshmark orders for total outgoing orders of 45. My eBay gross sales were $1,165.60. My Etsy gross sales were $42.95. 
and my Poshmark gross sales was $108 for a total gross sales of $1,316.55. It was within $20 of the week before. My shipping was $204.42, and that didn't include um, the Etsy order that, of course, I pay for shipping, but it's through Pirate Ship. The eBay fees of $157.33, Etsy fees of $3.65, Poshmark fees of $25.35 for a total cost of $390.75. I had a cost of goods of $78.24 for a total net sales of $847.56. $2.25 different than the week before. So I'm hoping that that means we're coming up because I didn't have, I mean, I did have a couple of nice sales, but I didn't have a $330 Jack coat, Burberry coat. So I'm hoping that means we're coming up. For a gross average sale price of $29.26 and a net average sale price of $18.83. Those are my numbers for the past two weeks. Um, I hope you liked them. Well, I hope you liked hearing about them. I'm sure you're happy that I was up over $800 both weeks. That makes me happy. Now, if you like this video, if you like Money Mondays, usually it's just Money Monday, but this week it's Money Mondays. If you like that, then hit the like button. If you wanna see more money related videos, or you wanna see haul videos where I show you things that I pick up at thrift stores or um, open in mystery boxes, then hit that subscribe. So I cannot talk today, I apologize. Hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified the next time I put out a video, then hit the notifications button. And I need you to do me one favor today. I need you to go out and find your redo.